Two thousand years ago, there used to be a carpenter named Joseph. He lived in a town called Nazareth of Israel. Joseph was engaged to a woman named Mary. One day, an angel appeared before Mary and said, A divine child will be born to you. He would be a great person who would change the world. Well, Mary got pregnant after a few days. A census was being conducted at a nearby town called Bethlehem. Everyone in the kingdom has to attend the census and record their names. So Mary too has started along with Joseph to Bethlehem. Bethlehem was so crowded that the couple couldn't get a place to rest. At last, they could find a stable to spend the night. Jesus Christ was born at that night. He has no bed except the hay. He has no visitors except a few shepherds. But the birth of Christ was soon announced all over the world. People came to know that a special child was born at Bethlehem. Far away from Bethlehem, three wise men have seen a bright star glowing in the sky. They immediately knew it to be the symbol of a new king and started journey under the guidance of the star, that's the star of Christmas. The three wise men visited Jesus Christ and gave loving gifts to him. They praised him to be the king of Jewish community. But someone is not happy with the birth of Jesus. Herod, the king of the country, thought the child to be his competitor. As he don't know which of the children is a special one, he ordered every kid below the age of two years to be killed. The family of Jesus has luckily escaped to Egypt before the massacre. They came back to their hometown only after the death of the king. Jesus was always different from other children. He could read, explain and debate about the scriptures. After taking baptism and fasting for days together in Judean desert, Jesus started to preach his thoughts. His teachings were simple and clear. He asked people to repent for their sins. He requested them to love God with all their heart. He advised them to love their neighbors as they love themselves. People were really attracted at these teachings. Apart from twelve apostles, Christ gathered hundreds of disciples who loved his words. Jesus began to travel to spread his teachings. Sometimes while teaching, he had to argue with the elders of the community. He had to fight with the rich traders who tortured the poor. This resulted in a lot of powerful enemies against Jesus. They were all waiting for the time to eradicate him. At the age of 33, Jesus traveled to Jerusalem along with his apostles. He knew that the authorities at Jerusalem were waiting for a chance to kill him. Still, he didn't change his way.
At his last supper with the apostles, Jesus predicted that he would soon be arrested by the authorities. And within hours, the words of Jesus have come true. An apostle called Judas betrayed Jesus and got him arrested. The officials were so eager to crucify Jesus at once. Even though the governor is against the death trial, they forced him for the crucifixion order. Jesus was made to carry his own cross, whipped while walking on the streets of Jerusalem. nailed to the cross at the outskirts of the city. And pierced with a spear to confirm his death. But death could not stop the words of Jesus. A new religion called Christianity has spread across the world. Moreover, his teachings of love, peace and purity have touched every human being, making him immortal.